So, a very warm welcome to all of you to another lecture on this course on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. In the last lecture, we had talked about autoregressive processes. And we had seen how to generate an order 3 autoregressive process. We had seen how to generate an order 3 autoregressive process and we had seen that the output of the order 3 AR process is visibly the output of the order 3 AR process is visibly indistinguishable from noise. So, what do we do now? So, the answer is that uh, we look at, so feature of noise and this is the answer obviously is air processes are highly correlated while noise is not. Air processes are highly correlated while noise is not. So, how do we then characterize the air processes? To answer that, let us consider an order 1 of AR. Let us consider an order 1 example of AR processes. So, consider a simple autoregressive process x n equals. So, there is just one and is white noise that is uncorrelated with the past values of x n. Let us discuss this a bit. So, V n is white noise that is V n m equals sigma V square delta n minus m this we know and ring AR process to be causal x0 can be seen as v0 x1 is v1 plus a1 v0 and so on. So, for any general xm and vn expected value of xm we want to calculate this expected value of xm vn. So, if m is less than n xm will be we can see that by this extension uh, linear combination 
of vk k less than equal to m then if the correlated with otherwise there will be no correlation if x m contains v n then x n will be correlated with v n otherwise there will be no correlation. So, x m that is this. So, this is our first result and uh, we will use this in order to prove this. So, in order to prove this result so, let us copy this result and take it to another slide and then try to prove this. Copy and I will add a new slide, I will paste this here. So, this is what we are trying to prove. So, how do we prove this? plus plus sorry x n minus 1 and here it should be x n minus 1 as well. this yes this so since the process is white sense stationary or since everything we are doing is here is for white sense stationary process this equals expected value of or i can move a square being a constant I can move that out plus plus So, these terms are 0 since the noise or the innovation term is uncorrelated with the past values of x. So, this term is 0 and uh, so this is there and this I will put in mod square. So, we have proven what we wanted to. So, this equals since again white sense stationarity. or if I let expected value of x 
square b sigma x square square sigma v square then sigma x square this or sigma x square equals sigma nu square 1 minus this. Since the variance is necessarily non-negative for stability process is strictly less than 1. So, this is the first result. So, for the AR1 process for stability of the process mod of A square or A should be strictly less than 1 for strict stability of the process. The next thing is that with this if I substitute actually prove this result we will actually prove the second result or we will use a blank slide and try to calculate it. This and this we prove here. zero this so this is rxx1 this is rxx1 and uh, this we can show is uh, equal to ax square similarly xn equals x n equals a x n minus 1 plus v n x n minus 1 equals a x minus 2 because this is the same model plus v n minus 1 or x n equals a square x n minus 1 plus v n minus 1 plus v n. Now, in this case what I can do is I can calculate three expectations sorry n minus 2 my bad n minus 2. So, expected value of x n n minus 2 can be shown to be a square sigma x square value of x n v n minus 1 is a sigma v square x n v n is sigma v square. This is it. So, in general this gives us another set of results that will be helpful or uh, that we will verify soon enough. So, this gives us another set of results to work with autoregressive processes expected value of x n x conjugate n minus k equals a to the power k sigma x square 1 2 sigma v square x k v n minus k 
equals v square for k 0 and k greater than equal to 0 and 0 for k less than 0. Fine. So, these are some results with respect to autoregressive processes or the first order autoregressive process that uh, we have with us and uh, these are the results that uh, we would want to verify when we try to simulate an autoregressive process of the first order. Therefore, we have that R x x 0 equals sigma x square and in general R k equals a to the power k sigma x square and this will simply be the complex conjugate or if I try to take k plus k then that will simply be because of the stationarity that can be written as sorry a k sigma x square and uh, if k is negative then it correspondingly becomes the complex conjugate. So, this or the correlation coefficient rho x x k is defined as x x k divided by r x x 0 and which simply is fine. So, we are equipped with enough ammunition to try and construct a AR1 process and uh, see its statistical behavior. So, that is what we will do and we will construct an AR process. I have lost the file from yesterday or I have lost the file from the last lecture due to some data issues. So, I will reconstruct the AR1 process. So, this is the for the AR process. We will generalize this to an AR n process, but A equals 5. So, we consider a equals 0 0.5 the simplest case and then what we do is first the we first generate the innovation component first fix the number of samples say we fix say 100 would be fine, we generate 100 samples. So, V n, let me generate it complex altogether, square root of half times rand n plus random n1, random n1. So, I will call this AR1 call this AR1 example. We first generate the innovation component as the first step then oh sorry one I imagine then we generate x1 as v1 that is there and for n x c 1 equals 
a x plus this and uh, so here the variance of v is 1 so I will just do this variance of v is 1 so variance of x or sigma v square 1 sigma x square equals 1 minus v square so in this case it will be 1 divided by 0 0.75 and we will do this so where x equals 1 minus a square 1 divided. So, this will show me the variance of x. Fine. So, now we have generated a sequence, but the question is that uh, we want to calculate the autocorrelation function and uh, in order to calculate the autocorrelation function, so uh, I did the same mistake as yesterday we need parentheses not square brackets and done yes so done and uh, this so because x is complex so it has plotted plot with x so this looks no different from yesterday and variance of x if I look at larger than expected so maybe if we take this up for a larger so this So, the variance of x is slightly different from what I perceived. Ah, yes. So, the initial values have a slightly different variance. Yes. So, these are the initial stability issues. That is why the variance of x was coming out to be different as compared to. So, uh, the AR process requires some initialization or some initial stabilization before it uh, can be used or before it can be considered to be stable or before it uh, reaches that Weitzen stationary behavior. So, if I instead of looking at uh, the variance of all the samples, if I look at just the variance of, uh, yes, see, the variance of V is small. So, actually, what I'll do is cut it here and so of x equals that times the variance of v this is done and so this and variance of x is oh sorry variance of x 10 to 100 i must remember that yeah, yeah close to what was predicted so Actually, I can x. So, if I generate 200 n, so these come out to be close, but because these are random processes, so you cannot be exact, but uh, you are uh, we are able to get uh, a uh, very close approximation of the variances. So, now the next thing that we want to do is we want to look at the correlation function. So, in order to look at the correlation function, we have actually, so let us say we average over, so let us say we average over 10,000, we ten thousand realizations and
and I add this realizations, I will add the proper indents. do not need this anymore. We generate the AR process. This and if I run this, so there is a problem and the usual clear all and close all should help. This is for m equals 10,000 and I have generated r which is not right. Uh, should have been no yes so I've generated R so let us look at R so this is the kind of uh, autocorrelation that you would expect that uh, or I would also define tau as say 20 and look at this behavior. So, so tau and if I run this, so now plot real r, I get a peak here and all zeros here. So, let me look at the values of R R equals R R I store this in another variable R R and I look at the values. So, these are small it is around 20. So, I look at it around 20. So, this peaks at around 20 which is 65 half of it again half 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 and it quickly goes down to 0 which is as expected. So, only catch here is that this should be 1 over m that would uh, make it consistent because the earlier I missed that. So, RR. So, this 20 peaks at 20. So, 1.33 as expected, it is uh, in the middle. So, it is uh, exactly the average. So, this is 1.33, half of it, half, 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 and uh, the correlation function goes down. So, the correlation function goes down as per our expectations and so is the variance. So, the correlation at 0 lag is equal to the variance and uh, we also have a handle on the correlation function and it goes down like this. So, say I make this 0 0.9 and RR equals real R plot RR. If I plot RR, you see that uh, the correlation function now goes up and goes down much slowly which is as expected and the values of course are 90 percent of the previous and you see that is 5.26. So, the autocorrelation function at lag 0 is close to that and this is 90 percent of that, this is 90 percent of this and so on. So, if I make it 999 or 0.99 get this is the variance RR is this plot RR we get something like this and this goes down even slower 
this is because of that finite correlation effect now. So, to demonstrate this properly, I might need to use a tau equals 100. So, because this is so large, it will become cleaner at tau equals 100. So, let me do this and let me take 400 samples. Then this will become much cleaner and this will be visible. RR is this and this is not still not totally clear, maybe 500 and this is 1000, then this will become cleaner. This will take some time now and yes, this is done. Clear and this, so this is close to what, so we had 50.25. The peak occurs 50.2438, which is close enough, and uh, this behaves exactly the way we had predicted it to be. And so, this is how we define, or uh, this is the special case of the first order autoregressive process. We will look at uh, the other two stochastic models, namely the moving average model and the autoregressive moving average model, in the next lecture. Thank you.